if we don't start promoting our culture, especially to our younger generation, we're going to lose our culture. We are from the Caribbean, we can be Indian from the Caribbean, we have our own history, our own culture, which is a mixture of Indian culture and Caribbean culture, it's a beautiful fusion, and I think it will be a very big shame if we lose it. After the end of slavery, the British Empire, they needed people to work on the plantations in the, the plantation fields in the Caribbean. And after the end of slavery, they still needed this workforce. So they brought a workforce from India to the Caribbean under a system called indentureship. So they were referred to as indentured laborers. And in 181 years, we have maintained a certain level of Indian culture in the Caribbean. So if I think Indo-Caribbean, I think Tassa, chutney, chutney artists, roti, doubles, dal, rice, kuchula, seven curries, chana and alu, pumpkin, spinach. <laughs> yeah. You're, not, you're never Indian enough to be considered Indian and you're never Caribbean enough to be considered a Caribbean person. So we're always stuck in this middle ground. My personal experience of the Indian community is that we are not Indian. Um, I don't know why they think that, but for me, for example, I've grown up doing Kathak dance my entire life. To do this, so you see myself and mum all, all dressed up here. This was a dance that I performed as Lord Shiva. Who's the when I was growing up, we had loads of Indo-Caribbean events to go to. So at, during the week at school, you'd be with nobody that looks like you or nobody that understands your culture. Nobody understands how come you're Asian from the Caribbean. You, nobody gets it. And then at the weekend, we're mixing with our own people at the weekend. So you have a strong sense of identity. Um, but the younger generation, they have grown they've grown up in a time where people who put on these events people stopped attending them and so we've got a generation who haven't grown up as culturally aware or strong in their identity as my generation have grown up so when you walk into culture fest you're going to be seeing a snapshot of what it's like to be in the life of an Indo-Caribbean person, our food, our music, our culture, our people. When I'm at school and they ask us, are you Indian? I do say yes because like my ancestors, my dad's from Grenada. People think Caribbean and always think black. They don't think there are Indian people. So I think for this, it's just about raising the awareness and getting things like our music and our food out there. We're getting to the point where everyone's becoming very, very aware about culture. And you'll see nights out for kind of Afrobeats and Latin music that kind of thing, and Bollywood music, but people don't know about chutney music and like Indian soca music and that kind of stuff. Big up to all the guys in the building. Woo! Grenada in the building. Yeah! Surinamese. Woo! Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah! And of course I can't forget all of the UK people. It, but we're serving the food, we're serving the drinks, we're serving at the Trinidad store. We're all hands on deck here. It's just go, 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 go. Having half a Caribbean and half a Punjabi heritage, there's always going to be sort of holes in my knowledge and understanding about the culture. And while I've got a fairly big Punjabi community in London, it's quite nice for me to learn about the other side of my, my roots. Um, and you know, I learned from my mum, but it's good to see what my ancestors went through. I definitely think we've had kind of times in the past where it's not been so clear cut, like there has been disinterest and there has been, it, the reason that today is so special is that it's kind of reinvigorated everyone and really shown that people do care and people do want to be a part of being Indo-Caribbean. Let's do this. Let me do this right now. Yeah, the turnout has been just incredible. I just, I didn't expect, you know, this many people to support. Have I done you a good job? Oh, you've done me so proud. You've oh. done me and your mum so proud tonight here. Friends all say that I'm like a cocktail because I don't enjoy just one part of my community. I enjoy everything. So the religion, yes. the dancing, the chutney, the food. I endorse yeah. and embrace. I am Indo-Caribbean. Yeah.